We're talking about the HP Omni 220 Quad Series All-in-One Computer. All-in-one. Love it. Let's talk about it. All right, Ray, tell us about the HP Omni 220 Quad Series. Now, we've we've tested other all-in-ones from HP. How does this one stack up? Yeah, so um, so some stats here real quick, right? Beats Audio, Blu-ray, Webcam. We have a, uh, an AMD 6450 uh, graphics card, one terabyte drive, six gig of RAM. I love that. Um, it's running uh, Windows 64-bit Home Edition, it's Intel, Intel Core i7. Um, it's 21-inch screen, which is very, very nice. It's a multimedia card reader, Wi-Fi, um, and has USB 3, which is nice and fast. Um, the pros, I love it, all-in-one. I, I really, really enjoy all-in-one. I, I know, Zev, that you're, you're a big uh, Mac fan, and, and you love your iMac, um, but we, we both love all-in-ones. They're, they're great. I love the Beats Audio, um, I, but again... I'm not really sure why they give you the option to turn off turn off beats and turn on beats. I would just leave it on because beats is awesome. Um, a really big monitor. I like the monitor because it's it's very very big. Um, it's 21 inches, and that's really cool. Just a, a quick funny story here. When the when we unboxed it a, a couple weeks ago, um, the first thing my son did was go up to the 220 and then hit the screen and start <laughs> moving his finger around. Yes, folks. Um, no. So the the 220 does not have a capacitive touch screen like the like the like 610 does or the uh, I'm sorry yeah the HP Smart uh, Smart Touch 610. Right. I am getting it right right HP Smart Touch yeah 610. Um, it it doesn't have a, a a touch screen. So when my son Matthew came and started playing around with it, didn't have a touch screen. So he got a little upset and he just understand why. And I was trying to explain to him the reason why, and he just looked at me like, I don't understand you, bald man. And uh, so, yeah, so that, that was that was my uh, uh, one of my cons also. I mean, it's not really a con because you, you know what you're buying when you're buying the, the, the 220, right? It's not a touchscreen. Right. So um, I really wish that, you know, HP, I, I, really, I wish, the, wish that the technology was cheap enough where HP can put it into all their PCs. That'd be kind of cool. But unfortunately, the t- technology is a little expensive. Um, uh, and as far as cons, bloatware, you know, got to stop with the bloatware. It, I mean, every, you got Xeno Reader, you got Kobo, you got some WebOS crap on there, you got eBay crap, you got another e-reader garbage on there. You know, just stop with the bloat. Yeah, I don't like bloat the there. third party bad, stuff bad, is just bad. terrible. Stop, stop putting the third party stuff on. Yeah, you know, just 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 dump that crap. It's just don't don't need for the garbage anymore, especially nowadays. I actually think that it takes um, away from the um, respectability of the hardware too. By having that on it, yeah, you know, I I agree. It just you know, it's just so much crap. You know, listen, you know, I don't care who it is, HP or Dell or anybody else, right? If you know, if you have specific software that is designed to improve the experience of your hardware, then by all means, go ahead and do it. Knock yourselves out. I mean, wonderful. Um, like for example, I have an HP printer. And then uh, to demoing the HP all in one. The printer all in one, kind of just like, hey, how you doing, putty? What's going on? They shake their hands, they they connect, and voila, I'm printing. Lovely. I mean, there's just not a problem whatsoever. But everything else that they throw in there, I don't, I don't think is really necessary. Um, I'm not sure why, but it came with a wire, wired mouse and keyboard. Not a fan of the wired mouse and keyboard. Right, and the previous so one was, was a wireless, right? The previous one was was a wireless, and the, they're about the same price point. Um, so I'm assuming, um, I don't know what I'm assuming, but if, if you're, if you're a consumer, um, you know, and if it's, if it's extra, then just pony up for, for the extra and get the wireless mouse and keyboard. Uh, there's no reason for, for you to have a wired mouse and keyboard nowadays. And like I said before, there is no touch screen like, like the, like the touch smart, um, 610. Um, and the graphics card on the 220 isn't high end. So if you are a gamer and you want to play a game like Oblivion, for example, you, you, that's going to be tough for you to do that. So it's not a it's not a gaming machine. Let's just put it that way. Um, and what else? Um, that's pretty much it. That's pretty much it. I mean, all in all, we we, we liked it. Um, Jesse was was using it for a while. She actually liked it. She says it's a nice box, big screen. 
My son never touched it after the first day because he couldn't launch things with his finger. Um, and uh, and for price point, we're looking at you know seven hundred dollars to a thousand dollars. I mean, for an i seven box, that's that that's pretty that's that's pretty good. Yeah, I mean the box is smoking. I mean the box is fast. I mean six. I mean six gig of RAM. I mean the box is super fast. It's a, it's quick on its feet. Um, it does everything you need it to do, and and then some. Um, it's just uh, you know those those two or three things that I mentioned, which are, aren't really deal breakers. I mean the bloatware, the wired mouse, uh, the the lack of a touch screen, um, the fact that you can't play high end games on this. I mean it's it's those are all very very minor things. Right, and I think uh, I mean, so. I give like three stars, three. I'm sorry, three remotes yeah. out of out of five. I mean, it's it's, a, it's, it's a got nice the box. price and performance side. It just needs a little more on the graphics end for for those gamers. Yeah, yeah. yeah. If, I guess if you were a gamer, you know, you would you would you would beef up the graphics. Uh, but then again, Oblivion is is a is a massively graphics heavy right. game. So you're looking for a beefy box at this point. Um, I, mean, I mentioned Oblivion because I know Oblivion is is the game folks use to test a graphics card. Um, so I mean, I'm look. I mean, you know. I'm sold, and I'm a big advocate for the all-in-one package. So for me, that's pretty much the uh, the selling point of, of the device. If you get an all-in-one computer, it's got a lot of horsepower um, for average computer usage, not some prosumer level stuff you have more than enough exactly. horsepower under uh, uh, uh under the hood for for graphics uh going to youtube watching videos making making uh photo albums yeah. all that good stuff Fun. you will enjoy yeah. you'll enjoy this box i mean again it's just uh um you know only one you have a couple of wires coming off this thing you, you, have, you have your power you have your um now you have your keyboard and mouse but just it's a good box yeah it is just a it's good box definitely a good box and i i um I kind of look at it like if you could just throw in that extra, just put in a little bit more of a graphics card for the for the higher end, higher ender uh, people, True. as well as that touch screen, the luscious touch screens. Yeah, that touch screen is ridiculous. But, that, but yeah. then again, I'm thinking if they threw a touch screen in there, then you might be looking at the at the six ten, you know, touch more. Well, that's I, I guess that's um, why they differentiated the two series. Yeah. But, um, yeah, and you would think the price there would be a, a larger price difference, but there really isn't, right. um, from my understanding. It might be like a, a hundred bucks or maybe two hundred bucks difference, um, which is a no brainer, right? Because if you're going the the route and you see the six ten over the two twenty, and it's only like a two hundred dollar difference or whatever the case might be, um, you know, I, me personally, I would just drop two hundred bucks right. and get the six ten. But um, but again, you know. Twister. All right, you hear it here first. All right, HP 220. It's uh, three remotes. It's a decent box. If you're in the market and you're not like a crazy, crazy gamer type person, I think it might be the box for you. It might work for you. All right, guys. See you later. As always, thanks for watching. Only cool people press subscribe. Right here. That right there. Bye. All right. So, what are you drinking tonight? Uh, I am drinking Sam Adams Boston Lager because my pansy butt. Look at that. Um, oh, what's up, kid? Right <laughs> because I I I I am set to fifteen hundred calories a day. Fifteen hundred. And this bad boy right here is one five three. <laughs> so um, there you have it. I'm set to so. no limit. No limit. Yeah. Yeah. But I eat yeah, like I twigs and berries and stuff, so that's all right. Yeah, no, no, I don't eat twigs and berries. I had a burp, sorry. No, I don't eat twigs and berries. <laughs> I actually eat like real food, but it, but the real food I eat has to be controlled, you know, so everything is counted calorie wise. So fifteen hundred calories divided amongst uh three or more meals throughout the day. So um drink a lot of water, a lot of tea. Uh that's pretty much it. Very good.